Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be the first video in a series of videos I am going to create, which is going to take you on not quite a deep dive, but we're going to get our heads underwater and wrap our minds across some Linux commands. Each video is designed to be about five minutes or less, and it's going to teach you how to use a specific command in the Linux terminal. In today's episode, we're going to be getting our head around what the sudo command is. So what exactly is sudo and what does it stand for? Well, sudo stands for super user 2 and it's a command that allows you to execute commands with administrative privileges. In other words, it grants you super user access or root access to do specific tasks. You see when you boot into terminal for the first time on a Linux machine, it does give you some information on that. So let's first try to install a program without using sudo at the very beginning. So let's do apt get install Apache 2. And we're getting an error message here. So Let's go back and see what happens when we put sudo at the front there. So sudo, super user do. I'm going to pop in my password. And now it's giving us the option to actually install it with super user access. So you can say B-I-N-G-O with S-U-D-O, you now have the superpower to install software and any other administrative tasks that the administ uh, the, the super user or the root user would have. While sudo is mighty, you don't want to use it unresponsibly. It's a double-edged sword. You can be safe from some tricky situations using this, but it can also cause some issues. So let's just say, I'm messing around in here and I just want to say, oh, I want to remove that file. And I'm not really paying attention. And I go sudo rm-rf. Now, let's say I run this. This command could potentially wipe out the entire system. So let's go ahead and backspace that because I don't want to run that. Now, my point there is that you always want to double check your commands before you run them with sudo. The standard time for a sudo lockout is about 15 minutes, which means that after that time, you'll have to run the sudo command again and pop in your password. There is a way that you can change the sudo time limit for access. If 15 minutes isn't long enough, say you need 30 or 60 minutes, you can change that by running this command in your terminal, sudo vi S U D O. That opens up a text file here, which you can edit. Let's go all the way down to this line here that says defaults mail underscore bad pass. Enter to add a new line and underneath defaults underscore env reset. Go ahead and type in the following defaults and then a tab time stamp. P underscore timeout equals and in and in the time in minutes go ahead and type in the lockout that you want so let's go ahead and say 60 minutes and then control x save yes and now our sudo lockout is 60 minutes as opposed to the 15 minutes so now let's talk about sudo dash i so this command takes things to the next level. Instead of executing one command with elevated privileges, it allows you to act as the root shell. So you can see my text has changed from Brenton at VBox to root at VBox. You can also tell that we're in root by the hashtag that's at the end here. This means that we have full system control over, this means that we have full control over the system as the root user. The sudo-i command can be very useful when you want to perform several administrative tasks without repetitively popping in your sudo password each time. 
However, be extremely cautious when using the root shell because any changes that you make here could have significant consequences on your system. So trade carefully, always double check your actions and to exit the root user, you just type in exit, which will bring you back to your user account. But that's it for this video. It's just a very quick one explaining in depth what you can do with one specific command, in this case, uh, the sudo command in your Linux environment. If you found this video useful, you can go ahead and like the video. You can also buy me a coffee from the link in the description if you were so inclined to do so. Also consider subscribing to the channel for more exciting Linux content like this. I'll be making several videos like this, uh, small in-depth videos on individual commands in the Linux system and how you can use them. As always, if you have any questions or if you want to share your favorite Linux commands, go ahead and leave those in the comments section down below. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you in the next video. Take care.